Hello and welcome back to the Games Kingdom. My name's Carl King and today we're going to be having a look through the giant book of sci-fi battle mats from Loke Battle Mats. So this particular book has 62 pages of battle mats for your tabletop RPGs essentially but you could use them for any tabletop game really. Um, you'll see as we go through there are um, certainly pages that are more suitable for RPGs and there are some that you can use for um, generic figure games and spaceship games so uh, a lot of the pages are sort of squared so you've got movement already sorted out for you and there are some towards the back that change to hex based uh, uh, sort of shapes so um, you've got that sort of flexibility that you can use different bases for um, different games so you've got your flying stands and all those sorts of things that will fit onto some of these pages as well as your generic um, figure bases so uh, most of these are set up for 28 mm um, figures but here is a sort of quick overview of what you're going to sort of see within the pages of the book as we look through so it gives you an idea on the back of what you get. Uh, those numbers are uh, the page numbers that those particular uh, maps will uh, appear on. And as you'll see, some of them are uh, double-sided. So you'll open up the pages and it will give you a double area. So these are A3. And um, right from page one, the internal cover, you'll see that it sort of kicks off with those pages as a generic sort of um, area and then you'll get all of these plus a lot more as you go through. So let's kick off and have a look. So as I said you've got first off inside page and page two so just a generic sort of um, flooring area where you can sort of put your figures on and um, sort of move around into a Again, another sort of, these are all fairly generic, um, so, you know, when I say that, um, you know, you can use them for different uh, planets, moons, asteroids, you know, that your party either lands on or is uh, uh, sort of, you know, sort of venturing on. So you can use these in uh, lots of different uh, situations and games and obviously very colourful and uh, very different all the way through. So you've got your sort of ice world-ish type thing and uh, then you've got very similar to the ones we saw earlier um, around the edge here into a sort of more um, detailed and sort of um, industrialized part of that uh, area or moon or planet you've got some things here that you could use as uh, sort of a vegetation area or you could even say this is a some sort of a lava based thing um, you know you your choices really are quite endless again you know some of these are sort of very specific in what you could do and others you can just literally let your imagination run wild with these so again very similar to before that sort of generic um, sort of moon stroke planet surface with maybe a a landing pad um, but you could then obviously use this landing pad and say that you know this is the entrance to an underground complex then you've got um, obviously areas where you've got buildings and or um, complexes and tunnels and rooms and things and obviously this one has a area where it's even got a sort of like a glass floor where you will be able to see through and then you've got some uh, sort of fish and um, sea creatures swimming underneath. You've then got pages like this where again you've got this sort of double area but you could use it where they've just come into that area down here and as they're walking up this is all they can see and then as obviously they come up to the sort of T-junction you can then open the book and say this is the area that you can see now uh, but obviously you know that would mean that these doors would have to have been opened you can have that like that or you can again have it so that they can only see up to this point and then they've got to uh, sort of get those doors open to come in and then there's obviously all other little areas and rooms sort of off here and then you've got again 
even more things so you've got sort of some sort of tunnel here that you can and a bridge that you're walking across and then other areas where um, your party will be playing out uh, scenes so you've got a lot of these that will sort of link together uh, not necessarily page after page but you can then say which pages are these when you're writing out your um, scenarios or um, adventures and then literally just put the page numbers on and as they get to those uh, parts of the story you flick to those pages and that's where they will be. So lots of different sort of um, things that you can use and obviously you don't have to use them all in the same scenario. You've even got sort of damaged areas where you know the floor of this area has sort of been blown out by maybe an explosion internally or um, shot from a uh, spaceship or something and uh, you know you can say that they can't get into this area or there's a force field that's sort of automatically put up so you can see out but it's not um, sucking you out into space and sort of decompressing and then you've got other parts like this cargo bay so perfect uh, for things like uh, maybe a sort of uh, alien scenario more corridors and rooms here again very similar sort of flooring to uh, earlier in the book so they try and um, keep this very sort of similar so that you've got that sort of continuity that you can use throughout your um, stories and campaigns um, it's very similar again but just different color more rooms sort of here but this is obviously you can use this again just as a um, a shuttle or a small spaceship to say that this is where your guys are when they're traveling and or they sort of land or dock into a space station or something like that um, or a repair station and then obviously they're situated on here and you could even play out some of the the game in here because you know obviously there are times where crews will be in a ship traveling from planet to planet so again you've got this section here and this section all linked together but you can you know depending on which area they come into you can see that they can't see the other page or or they can whichever you wish to do again more uh, stuff that you can link in and little areas where crews will go so this could be sort of like maybe even cruise quarters or something more of the same from earlier with that different color scheme some roads perhaps um, so you can sort of um, play these out you can even put your buildings out on these things you know so that uh, you know you're playing out sort of scenarios in a sort of uh, sci-fi sort of town on a planet um, maybe a bar or two or a police station that sort of thing and then we get into the area because all of these have obviously been square based now you're coming into the hex based areas of the book from page 49 so you've got 12 13 pages of hexes coming up now so again you know you've got your little bit of space you've got a again either a space station or something like the death star in uh, star wars and you can use this for either moving you know your figures could be moving around in space suits with uh, grav boots or you could use this for uh, something like a billion suns um, maybe even sort of uh, x-wing or those sorts of ships you could make up games and use the pages for that so again another double one that you could use or again use them singularly um, very similar but a sort of larger planet generic space so again this one would be fantastic for your maybe your billion suns games if you only had sort of two or three ships each you could play that out over something like this and um, yeah you could um, quite easily do a, especially a sort of a teach game if you're trying to um, teach somebody the rules of something like a billion suns or something similar to a, to that you could um, just play that out over here and uh, you've got your instant map um, to sort of um, to do that and then you've got another one uh, obviously sort of uh, a more sort of darker deep space type scenario very similar to before but obviously with sort of asteroids and a few sort of things in the way so again you could sort of use that and having to sort of maneuver your ships around there and obviously these things would block line of sight maybe for shooting between vessels 
and then we've got the last two pages one of them goes back to square and we have a generic hex based um, just sort of area that you could use and this for me is the one that I'm probably going to use quite a bit because I have some buildings which I've got a complex for um, tabletop sort of figure games but also for um, tabletop uh, RPG for Alien where I've used wallpaper to make this particular flooring inside the building and or corridor so as your characters and your things go into these obviously you've got these areas where they could be in here like so on your tabletop but you know can be a bit fiddly if two players are trying to move their characters around or um, you know you're trying to get your hands in here and you don't want to damage the buildings you could literally transfer them from that onto something like this and you can move your building out of the way or play this out on a different part of the table have this book open for just this sort of eventuality and then you play out these sort of scenarios where the guys are shooting again you could set these up you could put any sort of bits of furniture that you've got in your physical rooms onto these maps so that you've got that sort of same setup out here and then just play out that particular part of the scenario with this page and you know you've got room for more and you can obviously have different bases you know you've got your round bases there obviously are the hexagon bases so you know you've got all these sorts of things it doesn't really matter as long as they'll fit in there um, and you've got your movement so again you just count the number of um, hexes and uh, that's obviously the movement for your character they're all spaced out um, sort of your generic inch sized so that's going to help with uh, things like that you're not having to worry about sort of moving around and measuring and tape measures inside buildings you can stick them down on something like this and you just move them around and then also for distances for things like shooting so you know if you've got a, a shotgun that will only get shoot six inches you'll count how many hexes in between you and that player so one two three four five six seven so that would be out of range you couldn't shoot this guy so as I say this is going to sort out a lot of issues with things like that no measurement you count the number of hexes and or squares bang you know if it's in range out of range and or long range short range and you can then do your damage roll your dice and go from there so what a fantastic set of maps this is and so versatile for many different games and different game systems so we've got this one but there are a lot of others in their range so we'll give you a quick look through so here we have their collection so you've got add-on sceneries you've got uh, battle map boards you've got book of battle mats fantasy themed ranges so you've got your modular book sets You've got a book of battle maps, uh, science fiction and cyberpunk range. You've got a box of adventure. And then you've got um, the new releases and stuff that they're going to be bringing out on pre-order for 2024. So if we click on one of these, obviously you'll see what we are looking at. So you've got your book of adventure or box of adventure. So you've got your RPG maps and tokens. So, you know, there's... Um, the Coast of Dread and the Valley of Peril so you've got different things that then you, you go into this one's priced at £36 and it'll tell you everything that's in there it'll give you some bits and pieces it also gives you some tokens and or sort of like um, sticky pieces that you can put down onto the maps in the book and then they literally sort of sit in there and that is your areas that you can mark out so you can have bits of furniture you can have different things and then they'll just peel back off and then you can put them back out so they've thought of a lot of things here so you don't necessarily even need to have your own sort of physical pieces of furniture or physical things that you need to put on here for scenery you can you get these in some of the sets and you just put them in the pages peel them off and you can use them again and again and again so they're very versatile in what they do they've got a superb range on their website so if you want to uh, check that all out uh, loke battle 
mats. Um, as I say, you can either go straight uh, to their website or you can uh, check out their sort of social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, that sort of thing. Um, but yes, what a fantastic little book. So very versatile and that's going to come in extremely handy for a lot of things, a lot of different game systems, both sort of um, just playing with your models, um, you know, your sort of 28mm figures and all um, things like spaceships. So go and check them out, they do them in A3 and A4, so if you don't need this sort of size they do do the smaller range ones. And um, yeah, and uh, thank you again to Loke for sending uh, me this copy for a review, and um, I'm sure this is going to get to the table uh, in due course, especially in conjunction with my Alien RPG game as I showed you earlier. And um, yeah, until we do another one of these, it's uh, bye for now. <laughs>